Majusk is back and is definitely not dead. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And guess what? Yesterday, John Wu, who is the creator of Majusk, sent out a tweet Majusk is back in all caps, means super excited. Then, you also have another tweet which says more details to come and today we have a blog post on medium now all the relevant links everything is linked in the description of this video but before any further discussion about the blog post here's a small clip from a video which i made when John Wu announced that he is joining the Android security team so on one hand you are working for Google in the security team specifically for Android. On the other hand, you are bypassing safety net. That, my dear friends, is conflict of interest. I think I did a good job over there by figuring out that it was conflict of interest because that is what the blog post announces, that Magisk Hyde is dead. Magisk Hyde is R-I-P. And the issue which a lot of people are now facing or are confused is comments like this well written article but it means magisk is dead hell no hell no magisk is not dead and that is the purpose of this video why because people don't like to read people don't want to read because it is a conflict of interest right john wu is working in the android security team he has access to the google source code if he's trying to bypass something like a security mechanism, which is safety net is a security mechanism. That's it. So bypassing safety net is a security issue. Very simple. You root your device. Companies don't want you to use banking apps. You hide root. That is a security issue. So he has said he's not going to do it because it is a conflict of interest. Absolutely right. And the community thinks Magisk is dead why so this is the community which is more about you know rooting for the heck of it for a fashion statement and then hiding it because you clearly don't know why you want magic or why you want root because the only small minute thing which has changed is there will be no magic hide available and the other important thing to note over here is that everybody knows we are switching over to hardware attestation. Magisk does not handle that. You install a Magisk module by somebody else to bypass hardware attestation, change it to basic, which is what Magisk passes with Magisk Hide. Even if Magisk does not have the feature of Magisk Hide, the module can implement it and bypass basic attestation as well because clearly Magisk ain't passing the hardware attestation. So Magisk is not dead. I mean, stop spreading fake news, rumors and foolish, noobish assumptions. The next thing which is dead is your Magisk modules repository. So here is Magisk app installed on my device, right? Let us go into this fourth option. This is your modules which are like synced in, hosted somewhere, whatever the process is. So this part will go away, right? You won't have any Magisk modules in the Magisk repository. That's it. You will still be able to install your Magisk modules manually from your storage. And if anybody did care to read that properly, the last paragraph is like super exciting. I do want to enable users to set its own Magisk module sources which the Magisk app can handle module downloading, installing, upgrading. But this isn't high up on the list of things I want to do in the near future. Guys, dude wants you to have the capability to create your own Magisk module repository and the app, the Magisk app is going to support that. So, and you're saying Magisk is dead? Oh, give him a break and give me a break also. And then the last thing is something about Zjisk, Zijisk, Magisk and Zygote. I do not know much about that. Of course, I am going to read and if it is like super interesting, something which demands a video, I will make a video on it. But right now, I do not know what this Zijisk or Magisk and Zygote means. If any of you does, feel free to leave a comment down below so that we can share the knowledge. But yes, Magisk is not dead. Remember one thing, super important thing, Magisk or root in Android 
in my humble opinion will be dead the day google stops bootloader unlocking right now google allows bootloader unlocking google just wants to say to their employee that hey you cannot bypass this this is conflict of interest your side project routing you're still allowed to work on that i think all of us should be more than happy about that and rather than spreading fake news rumors or oh, magisk is dead rip magisk all those things these are going to be the titles and headlines of videos created in the next few hours in the next few days or oh, rip magisk rip magisk no magisk is here to stay android root is here to stay just because you're not able to bypass your safety net basic attestation in a tool which can be fixed by a magisk module which are here to stay only the repository part is going away i don't get the logic or the mindset of saying magisk is dead in my humble opinion magisk has in fact I think John will get more time to concentrate on the actual stuff now. That is what he says in the blog post as well. There are a bunch of other developers out there. The open source community is super great, super awesome. They will figure out a way to bypass basic attestation. In fact, they've already figured out a way to bypass hardware attestation. So I'm pretty sure K Dragon is going to find out a way on how to bypass your basic attestation within his module which bypasses your hardware attestation.